I feel terrible as one of the men who had to prescribe that treatment. that officials at the Department of Health knew that haemophiliacs were at a very serious risk of being contaminated. Well, that seems to be quite clear. I mean, they were warned uh, by a doctor in the blood transfusion service in 1983 that there was a serious crisis. Mr. Clark, what do you say to criticisms uh, that haemophiliacs are exposed to the risk of AIDS from imported American blood because the government hasn't provided enough funds to make Factor 8 in England? I find them quite inexplicable.